Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going over to CBS News, and this is in politics. It says, Georgia Republican Lieutenant Governor criticizes GOP for electing Herschel Walker as nominee. Georgia's Republican Lieutenant Governor Gregory Duncan has spoken out against Herschel, the current GOP Senate nominee in the state. Duncan criticized the Republican Party and said he isn't voting for Walker after the Daily Beast report reported Walker paid for an ex-girlfriend to get an abortion, which is the candidate has denied. Walker, a former NFL player, has voiced his opposition to abortion on the campaign trail and supports a national ban on abortion after 15 weeks. Oh, the unnamed woman who claimed Walker paid for a 2009 abortion also said she is the mother of one of his children, whom he hasn't publicly spoken about, the Daily Beast reported Wednesday. CBS News has not independently verified the report, which Walker has flatly denied. He also continues to deny he knows who the woman is. Georgia's midterm elections will be held on November 8th, when Walker will face Democratic Senate uh, Raphael Warnock, who made history in 2021 as Georgia's first black senator after defeating incumbent Kelly uh, Loeffer in a Senate runoff election. I am not voting for Senator Warnock, and like a lot of other Georgians, Herschel Walker has not yet earned my vote. Duncan told the Atlanta Journal Constitutional. Uh, after the Daily Beast report last week, he got four weeks left to change our minds. Many Republicans have continued to support their nominee. Republican National Convention Chairman Ronnie McDaniel called the report an attempt to distract from Warnock's record of failures, resulting in rising costs and out of control crime. President Donald Trump is friends with Walker, who appeared on the season of The Apprentice. Uh, Trump put on a statement on his truth social platform defending Walker, saying in part, they are, they are trying to destroy a man who has true greatness in his future, just as he has athletic greatness in the past. Walker's son, Christian, however, said he was done supporting his father's campaign after the initial Daily Beast story. How dare you lie and act as though you're some moral Christian, upright man. You lived a life of destroying other people's lives. How dare you, Christian Walker tweeted earlier this week. Herschel Walker says he loves his son unconditionally. Georgia Republican uh, Governor Bryant Kemp, who is up for re-election, has largely avoided speaking about Walker, but Duncan has continued to criticize the party for choosing Walker as a nominee. Unfortunately, Republicans look around to see who Donald Trump supports, and he was a famous football player, and so he became our nominee. And now we're paying the price for that, Duncan said in an interview with CNN last week. Duncan said he and other Republicans in Georgia have nowhere, excuse me, have now here to go right now in terms of choosing who to vote for. Republicans let down the entire country, Duncan said. Donald Trump led us down a rabbit hole trail post-election because he was consumed trying to save face after his election. And he ran us down a trail and we screwed up. Duncan also wrote an op-ed in CNN, uh, further criticizing the Republican Party for trying to regain a majority in the Senate with Walker as an untested, unproven first-time candidate. He has, uh, he said, while Walker has denied the claims and threatened legal action, the public's criticism of him was intense, and Duncan is unsure if Walker can win the election. If we want the American public to take us Republicans seriously, 
we need to take the first step by nominating candidates that should take should be taken seriously duncan wrote the process goes beyond celebrity or fame it requires leaders capable of winning elections in um, articulating a conservative vision for governing cbs news has reached out to duncan for further comment and is awaiting a response to him okay so uh well let me just say first and foremost uh mr duncan uh i believe that's his name is who's the lieutenant governor uh i applaud him for coming out and and uh essentially telling the truth um i don't see no fault and no wrongs in this man and i i I rarely agree with uh Republicans, but um, just to say, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I don't, I don't bang with either one of them because both of them got their own, you know, shit with it. Um, but yeah, I I do agree with uh Mr. Duncan. He hit the nail right on the head. Uh, I believe that he perfectly summarized what um. Uh, whether you be Republican or Democrat, uh, what you want in a candidate, what you look for in a candidate, you don't look for fame, you don't look for how many, you know, touchdowns he scored or how big he was in the NFL or celebrity. Um, you're there to govern people. And if you're there to govern people, then you must lead by that. You can't lead off of your NFL record to govern a state let alone a country um i think we've made that mistake once before uh with the orange with with the orange uh uh in chief the former orange in chief um i'm not saying that uh any other candidate was better or worse uh to me it's the less of two evils but um mr duncan did hit it on the nose and i and i totally agree with him um They should elect people that is capable and willing and actually can lead, um, you know, period. Um, This is the reason why we have these elections to elect people uh, to send to Capitol Hill um, and to Congress so that they can lead and be a representation of the state, a representation of uh, getting things done in the state. And also uh, creating legislation that will benefit the whole of man, uh, essentially. So, yeah, I mean, all right, Mr. Duncan. But with that being said, let me know how you feel. Uh, Drop down in the comment section with me and talk to me about this and any other story that you may I may do on my channel. Uh, Once again, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. So, uh, please don't come in my comments talking about, oh, you're bashing it, you're da, da 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 you hate Biden, you hate, I don't know these people, okay? I just know that they were elected to run this country, okay? And, uh, Flint still has no water, and there's still people going hungry in this country, uh, but we can send millions and billions of dollars to go fight somebody, somebody to help fight somebody else. That's my whole point. I mean, it should be equal opportunity to help the people at home and help the people abroad. But, hey, that's another that's another video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And with that being said, I will get with you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.